now you have seen the ai journey or probably read about the history of it how do you feel where it's going especially with the advent of this generative ai and say uh, large language models and stuff where do you see it going um so yeah like i was saying um, artificial general intelligence is something which people are trying to achieve mm-hmm. i think we are a long way from it um there are some uh, i think uh, really interesting applications of ai which are coming out there and there is a lot of uh, discussion about ai which is which didn't happen previously mm-hmm. which is now happening i think uh, but there are some concerns also like uh, particularly because these models are very expensive to run and they are very large um, so that is concerning and um, I, i think also the way uh, i mean it's not very factual right i mean yeah it sometimes. it hallucinates it produces a lot of misinformation mm. so there are there are two sets of people one set of people who are like uh, ai doomers like this is all going to uh, uh, like take over the world and everything mm. and one set of people who are saying no look this is going to help us this is going to make humanity uh, better it's going to take care of a lot of our problems i am on the this side where i feel it will really help us but i do see cost of compute and the size of models as a big barrier for anyone who is trying to go into ai yeah. so right when now. you say cost of compute right how it has affected this whole uh, revolution like do you feel it has been a, a say a integral barrier to it or an integral uh, push forward for uh, driving forward the whole ai space so um, i mean as of uh, like the people who really build ai like the data scientists etc right if they want to learn how to build a model earlier they could run it run it on their uh, laptops hmm. right or or they had some free uh, resources using which they can test it out now you cannot run a model like chat gpt on your laptop hmm. right how do you learn about it how do you uh, fundamentally tinker and understand hmm. those things that is a problem and i feel unless you get into those organizations who have the money and the resources to host the, that sort of computers it's very difficult to get skilled in that and i think that's unfair we are there are a lot of smaller models out there but most of the papers show that larger the models the better it is hmm. so okay. so you feel that it has to be more democratic uh, in the way we are approaching this just because it it, it can uh, give back to society a bit more Yeah like I I I feel there are I think we need AI to do good for the society and we need a lot of lot more people to have access to AI mm-hmm. it should not be concentrated uh, in the hands of a few people